Okay, this is nice. Oh, a message. All right. It looks like it's an invitation to a party tonight. Oh my goodness, that is so interesting. But oh no, I have an exam early in the morning tomorrow. Should I go or not? Should I go or not? I should go. Maybe not. Um, should I go or not? Oh. D Day TV KPM. Hello everyone, you are now watching Lower Form on Didet TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, as your host. And today, of course, our lesson is English, but what will we be learning today? Hmm. But most importantly, who is our teacher for today? Well, let's have a look at his profile. And today we have Mr. Hanin. Hi, Mr. Hanin. How are you doing today? I'm fine, Sean. Thank you very much for asking. And how about you? I am super excited to find out what we're learning today. And of course, today we also have our sign language interpreter. We have Teacher Cathy. Hi. <laughs> All right. So, what are we learning today? Thank you, Sean. So, might as well we continue with our lesson. Yes, that's right. But before that, I believe we also have some students who are joining us online, right? Yes. All right, let's see who they are. Hi, everyone. There we go. Our very ready faces for today. Yep. Maybe you could kindly introduce them to those okay. watching at home. So uh, we have uh, the first person, mm -hmm. uh, Anis. Hi, Anis. Hi, Anis. And then the second person would be Aisha. Hi, Aisha. The third person will be Haikal. Hi, Haikal. Hi. And the last person will be Nabiha. Hi, Nabiha. Hi, Nabiha. All right, so before we begin, I have a very important question that I have to ask each and every one of you. Are you ready for our lesson today? Give me a big thumbs up if you are. There we go. All right. So I've been asking this so many times because I'm super <laughs> excited for today. So Mr. Hanin, what are we learning today? Okay. So now let's continue with our lesson. Yes. Okay. So uh, we are going to discuss about special relationships. Oh, okay. Okay. Just now we look at Sean as uh, you're trying to figure out whether you want to go to a party or you want to focus on exams. Yes, I still so can't decide. So you need to consider your friend as well, but mm -hmm. you need to think about your own future. Ah, uh, so yeah. we are going to look into that. But before we look into that, mm -hmm. yeah, we are going to see the learning standard we are going to learn today. Okay. We are going to look at uh, the main skill speaking, which is to explain own point of views. Mm -hmm. And then the complementary skill, we are going to have a listening activity, okay. which is to recognize with little or no support attitudes or opinion in longer text on an increased range of familiar topics. Okay. Now, we go on also to the next one, the learning objective. At the end of the lesson, pupils will be able to state at least an opinion on a situation given to them. So, we are going to see what kind of situation they need to deal mm -hmm. and come out with a certain decision. And also, the last one, identify which statement they heard are advised or, their, or suggestions. Okay. Oh, all right. So, we are going to look at Form 3 Close Up Students Book, page 49. Okay. Okay, so hopefully everyone got your textbooks ready. Ready, page 49. yes. Uh, especially our friends at home and also online. That's right. Okay, so let's begin by looking at this first word, social. Mm -hmm. so just because this is going to be a uh, speaking activity, so okay. why don't we ask uh, our student online, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, Anis, what do you think about this word, social? Uh, Anis, probably you should uh, turn on your microphone, please. Okay. Pardon? 
for me social is someone or something they enjoys being with others. Okay, so yeah, uh, for person that you feel confident to be with, mm -hmm. yeah, so it can be your social, uh, pe the people around you, right? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you so much, uh, Anis. Can we have another person talking about uh, this word social, yeah. which is Nabiha? Hi, Nabiha. Hello. Uh, I think that social means is an interaction between other people when talking or discussing about something. Okay, interaction. Mm -hmm. That is also a very good word yeah. because we are living with people, so we are going to have like social interaction with people as well. Yeah. So, okay. Now let's go on to the next uh, one, mm -hmm. which is speaking activity. Again, we are focusing on speaking. Yeah. Who are you? So we need to know ourselves first, right? Yes. Before we try to uh, broaden up our horizon, getting to know other people. Yeah. So uh, they need to answer a few questions over here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw uh, out this question to uh, all the students. And also those at home yeah. can actually try to answer ah, this question because yes. this is going to be a speaking activity. Mm -hmm. You can practice it with your family members and mm -hmm. also maybe your friends at school. Okay. So the first question would be, are you a sociable person? That's why just now mm -hmm. we take the word social. I see. Ah, so okay. to give them a little bit of a background knowledge of the things that we want to discuss today. Okay. Okay. The second question would be, do you make an effort to be popular? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Because some people, they really like to expose themselves to let other people to know them. Yes, but some right. other people, they don't want to do that. Okay. So yeah. different kind of persona. And yeah. also, the last one, do you have a good relationship with your friends, family, or neighbors? So, I think uh, we are going to uh, choose a few of our friends mm -hmm. to answer this question. How about we start with the first question? Uh, Aisha, do you consider yourself a sociable person? No, I'm not a sociable person because I love to be alone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, she I shall love alone to time. alone time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That is good. Thank you mm -hmm. for the response. Okay. Why don't we try uh, the next question with Haikal? Haikal, do you make an effort to be popular? Um, no, I didn't, because I don't really like to be popular, and it will give me pressure to maintain my personality. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is what we will get when we are discussing this important issue with uh, our pupils, right? Mm -hmm. So not everybody likes to expose themselves. Uh, so uh, I think so far these two, they like to be alone and also maybe uh, as like what Haika say, yep. he doesn't want to feel the pressure. Yeah, that's the right. The peer pressure sometimes also are super strong. So mm -hmm. it's good for us to hear this from uh, all our Pupils. Okay. That's right. uh, why don't we try also the last one? Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a good uh, relationship with your friends, family, uh, or neighbors? We try with Nabiha. I do have a good relationship with my family and friends, especially my mother. Okay. So she does have a very good relationship with the family, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, one of the parents, which is her mother. Yeah. So I think uh, so far uh, they have answered these three questions mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. because uh, this is just the first activity yep. uh, for them to get to know uh, more about themselves. That's right. All right. And before we continue any further, how about we take a short break and back to you for lower form on Didate TV KPM. KPM. And we are back for lower form on Didate TV KPM. We are learning English for form, uh, form 3. And our topic of our lesson today is special relationships. So over to you, Mr. Hanin. Thank you very much, Sean. So we are going to our 
activity. Ah. So we are going to do listening activity, advice, order, or suggestions. Okay. Or so. so it's three things that we need to uh, bear in our mind okay. for this activity. Okay. So before we start doing our listening activity, there are a few key points that we need to pay attention because we need to consider that when we are learning English, there are four major skills that we need to uh, be a master of. Okay. Okay. The first one is going to be uh, the, usual, the usual one, reading, yep. writing. Mm -hmm. Now we have listening and also speaking. Okay. Okay. And now we focus on the listening activity. But before we do the listening activity, we need to know how to get a better score or how to perform well when answering listening tasks. Okay. okay? Uh, so the first thing that you can do is listen attentively to the recording. Yeah. Because w once the recording played, mm -hmm. they are not going to wait for you. Okay. Yeah. So listen attentively, meaning you need to pay attention because you don't have anything or other things to do mm -hmm. during that particular time. So do well in that. Number two, what you can do is notes if possible okay. because you are given paper right mm -hmm. so why don't we make use of the paper that are with us mm -hmm. use pencil take notes of the most important maybe key points okay about the recording that you hear all right okay next pay attention to the tones of the speakers because i say tones sometimes uh, the speakers may use different they mm -hmm. have uh, different tones different accents yeah. of people using uh, sorry, using uh, the English all yeah. around the world, mm -hmm. okay? And also, uh, and speakers, we have like old people, mm -hmm. they, the voice might be different, younger people will be different, youngsters will be different. Mm -hmm. So we need to pay attention on that, yeah. okay? Even while we are talking with our friends, we can sense uh, tones. Yes. And tones will uh, give a little bit of like feeling Ah, ah, and emotion yeah. to the sentences, and mm -hmm. it makes the sentence meaningful. Okay. Okay. So yeah. pay attention on that. Okay. And then, uh, lastly, think quickly to decide on the answers. Why I say think quickly because you are given a particular time for you to answer these questions. Ah, okay. Okay. There is set time given to you. Mm -hmm. So you need to do it fast right. because we are learning. So you are going to have some time okay. to think. But during maybe a certain uh, examination or a certain test that you need to face, you don't have much time. That's so you true. need to act fast okay. and think fast also. Okay, now mm -hmm. we go on to the next one. So these are the activities that we are going to uh, do. Okay. There are six statements. So we are going to read it first okay. and see the different after we are going to play the the audio. The, the audio or the okay. recording. Okay. okay. Read and listen to one to six below, which give advice, give order, or make suggestions. So that's why the topic here is advice, orders, or suggestions. Mm -hmm. Because as I mentioned just now about tones, yeah, where, while you are giving advice, while you are giving orders, while you are making suggestions, you use different tones. That's true. Okay, that's yeah. true. Okay. Now let's look at statement one. Yeah, I just read it without knowing how mm -hmm. it go, how the tones would be, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I will be natural. Don't stay up late. You've got an exam tomorrow at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. The second one, if I were you, I talk to your mom. She usually knows what to do. Three, they must clear up the room before they leave. And four, I think it would be better if he said sorry to her. Five. Shall we invite Marta to the party next week? And six, he shouldn't waste so much time playing video games all day. Okay. So while I'm reading, maybe you can make a guess. Mm -hmm. So we will let our friend make a guess first. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe just a few, uh, one, one minute. Okay, everybody? Yeah. Uh-huh. Make a guess. So if you feel that the answer is advice, so what, what you put? Just the letter. Okay. A mm -hmm. for advice. O for order and S for suggestions. suggestions. Okay. Okay. All right. 
So I guess uh, those of you watching at home as well, you can give it a try. Yes. And maybe we can, you know, because this is before we listen to listen the recording, to the audio. right? Ah, so the you recording. have some time to kind of guess like your first impression Chains. of what Very these good, sentences John. are. Yeah. Okay. Because sometimes we have already our background knowledge yeah. about certain ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can make a guess first. Yeah, that's okay. right. Okay, now I think our pupils are already ready online yeah. and those at home can try this activity, yeah? Don't, uh, don't miss it. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. So shall we start with uh, the first time we're listening to the recording? Okay, let's have a listen for that recording. A recording, okay. Speaking, Unit 4, page 49, B. 1. Don't stay up late. You've got an exam tomorrow at 8 a.m. 2. If I were you, I'd talk to your mum. She usually knows what to do. 3. They must clear up the room before they leave. 4. I think it would be better if he said sorry to her. 5. Shall we invite Marta to the party next week? 6. He shouldn't waste so much time playing video games all day. Sometimes... Uh, you can already get the answer from this first uh, play of the recording or the or, of the audio. Yep. Yeah. This activity is inside uh, our textbook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, English textbook, close up student page forty nine. So after you listen for the first time, yeah, still remember they already make initial assumptions. Okay. A yeah. guess. Correct. Of the f what they think would be the answer. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. But usually. When we are doing a test, pupils will be given another chance. Another chance to to listen and to confirm whether the first guess that they make, yep. yeah, after they listened, mm -hmm. is it correct or not? Yeah. Okay. And also, I would assume that some may not get it at the first time. time yep. The second time would be another chance for them to have another listen. Is that true? Yes, it's true. Ah, okay. Ah. So don't waste the chances that you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pupils at home and pupils online. So now you will get two chances, two times to confirm your uh, assumption or guess that you make. Okay. Uh huh. Whether you can get the answer correct or not. Because if you didn't get it right mm -hmm. the first time, you still have the chance to do the second time. The second time, yeah. Uh, so there's no third time. <laughs> oh, there so, isn't. Uh, yeah. There isn't third time. Mm -hmm. So make use of the chances that you have. Yeah. If not, it's just going to be. A waste. That's true. And also based on what you said earlier when we have to listen attentively. Attentively. Uh, you mentioned about tones as well. So each of these sentences have a slightly different tone as compared to when Mr. Hanin was reading it earlier. So earlier, yes. you have to really pay attention to the audio. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Sean, for highlighting that. So now, we are going to listen mm -hmm. again to the recording and pupils online and also at home. Okay, this is the... Only time that you okay. will have. <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, are you guys ready? If you are guys ready, yeah, please. Give us uh, a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. Thank you very much. So, All now right. they are ready. I feel like they are very excited as well just yep. to confirm the, the, the answers whether yes. they did right or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. With that, mm -hmm. we are going to listen to the recording. Let's go. Speaking, Unit 4, page 49, B. 1. Don't stay up late. You've got an exam tomorrow at 8 a.m. 2. If I were you, I'd talk to your mum. She usually knows what to do. 3. They must clear up the room before they leave. 4. I think it would be better if he said sorry to her. 5. Shall we invite Marta to the party next week? 6. He shouldn't waste so much time playing video games all day. All right. Okay, that is the end of the recording. Mm -hmm. I think by this time, yeah, uh, our peoples already got the answers with them. They are very sure with the answers. Okay, I uh, hope But so we too. are going to check mm -hmm. whether they are going to get the answer correct or not. Okay. Uh, because at the end of the day, we are going, uh, we are going to see whether they can catch up uh, with their understanding of what they 
heard okay. because this is going to be a listening activity. Okay. okay. So, uh, so this is the discussion part part where mm -hmm. we are going to see uh, if our friend get the answer right because there are six statements. So, I'll do the first one. Okay. Uh, and Sean, I think I'll give you also an, uh, one. Oh. But uh, we wait until the rest of our friend finish. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. No and also, this is going to be a PBD. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it is a part of assessment, so if they are able to do that, we are going to give them a, a reward, which we already prepared oh, over there, and yes. Sean is going to help me with that. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so I'll do number one first. Uh. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. Don't stay up late. You've got an exam tomorrow at 8 a.m. So, uh, the voice is like uh, from, uh, from a lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it was like giving an advice. An advice. Or advice. So okay. I think the answer would be A. Okay. So let's check the answer. Yeah. All okay. right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that is A for advice. Because mm -hmm. you can see uh, from the tone itself and yep. also from the wording, it does show that uh, this, fella, this person wants to give you an advice. Mm -hmm. Because they say, don't stay up late. You've got an exam tomorrow. It, it, AM. Yeah. Okay. Now we are going to check our pupils' answer okay. from the online. And also, uh, pupils at home can check also your answers. Okay. Oh. okay. So, who wants to do number two, please? Me. Okay. Anis. Okay. Anis, uh, you can read it first and then uh, share the answer with everybody. If I were you, it to talk to your mom. She usually knows what to do. The answer is S, suggestion. Suggestions. Hmm. Okay, let's see the answer. Okay, S. Good job. Well done. Well done. Shall so, we give yes. Give a reward? Yes, thank you, Sean. So, right. Anis will get one reward. Okay. For you. Now, who wants to do number three, please? Me. Who's that? Uh, Aisha. Okay. They must clear up the room before they leave. Yes. The answer is O, order. The answer is what, what again? O. Mm -hmm. O. O, order. Okay. okay, let's see the answers. Okay. They must clear up the room before they leave. O for order. Okay. Good job, good job. Well, well done. done. And a reward for Aisha? Yes, a reward for Aisha. Good well job, done. Aisha. Now we go on to the next one, which is statement four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, who wants to do number four, please? Me. Okay, Nabiha. That's good. I think it would be better if he said sorry to her. Mm -hmm. The answer is A, advice. The, the answer is A. I think it would be better if he said sorry to her. Even looking at the statement as well, yep. we can kind of like guess, mm -hmm. but after listening yes. to the recording, it's already confirming uh -huh. the idea. Yeah. Ah, okay, let's check if that answer is correct. Yes, A, advice. Well done, well Nabiha. Well done, Nabiha. Good one job. For you here. So, yeah, you're getting one reward. Thank you, Sean, for uh, giving the reward to her box. Now, uh, so we have heard three. Uh, the only boy in our online class. <laughs> okay, Haikal. So, Haikal, can you do number five, please? Yes, okay. Shall we invite Marta to the party next week? Mm -hmm. and, the answer, and the answer is as suggestion. As suggestion. After all, if we, when we are looking at the sentence, mm -hmm. it's a question. Yeah. Right? Shall we invite Marta to the party next week? Mm -hmm. So it's not an advice, it's, mm -hmm. it's not an order. Yeah. So the only option that you have is suggestion. Just but if you have the knowledge, mm -hmm. you can make already that assumption or guess. Yeah. But always listen to mm -hmm. the recording again. Yep. Uh, because you, we got two chances, right? Yes, to confirm right. again your answer. Okay. Right? Uh, so let's see whether Haika got the answer correct. Of course, he got it right. Well so, done. S for suggestion. So, one reward for Haika. Haika. Okay, now mm -hmm. it's the time for our friends over here, John, <laughs> to try out the answer for number six. Okay, I'll read it out first. 
he shouldn't waste so much time playing video games all day. Okay. So my answer would be A, advice. Okay, let's check the sentence first. You shouldn't waste so much time playing video games all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When we look at the statement as well, right, Sean? Yep. Because you have like uh, the general knowledge first, right? Correct, yeah. Uh, looking at the structure. Yeah, the looking at the structure, use. very good. It's not really an order, it's mm -hmm. not really giving suggestion. But mm -hmm. after hearing the recording, yes. you already got a solid answer. That's what is right. the answer again, Sean? A for advice. A for advice. Let's check the answer. Yes. yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Sean. Do I get Sean. to keep one of these packets? Of course you yeah. can. Of course, a reward for those who already got the answer right. That's right. Well done to all our pupils who are online. Hopefully, those of you watching at home, if you got your answer correct, well done to you. And right now, we're going to take a short break. Back to you for Lower Form on Didit TV KPM. KPM. You are now watching Lower Form on Didi TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, and of course, Mr. Hanin. All right, shall yes. we continue our lesson? Okay, thank you, Sean. So, what we are going to do now? Mm -hmm. Okay, it is going to be a speaking activity, one of the objectives that we need to achieve for our lesson today. Okay, so the title would be Solving a Problem. Okay, why we need to do this? Yeah. Okay. Because we are dealing with teenagers, mm -hmm. pupils who struggle with daily life. Yeah. So maybe by introducing this topic to a youngster out there, the pupils, they will have uh, some time or maybe the ability to have like certain skill. This okay. one also considered as like a social skill mm -hmm. whereby they need to understand the problem and find ways to actually solve a problem. Okay. okay. Yeah. And uh, for the speaking activity is going to help them to improve their speaking ability, ah, of course. Right. Okay, now, before we start doing the activities, um, I would like to share a few speaking strategies that is going to help our pupils uh, in the online and also pupils at home to pay attention. What you can do yeah, to improve yourself or maybe making the question easy for you or you will find it easier for you to answer the question because you have certain strategies okay so it's good to have strategies okay the first one look carefully and listen to the examiner to find out as much information as you can about the situation sometimes there there are questions that the examiner uh, try to explain to you in order for you to understand what's the problem Okay? okay, we are going to look at uh, the activities later on, so don't worry much about this. But mm -hmm. you will be given a situation. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Number two, think about the advantages and disadvantages and talk about each option before you decide on the best one. Okay. So, which is very good. Once you are given uh, problems, so you need to find, uh, in other terms, uh, mm -hmm. besides advantage or disadvantages, pros and cons okay. of yeah. the situation before you end up with a decision on which one is the best for you. All right. So we are also giving them the skills for their daily life as well, yeah. right? which is very good. And I love uh, this activity so much. Okay. And then um, last one, remember, there are no right or wrong answer. So you can say what you think mm -hmm. because we want to encourage them to say what is on their mind. Okay. Because um, every pupils mm -hmm. have different experience in their daily life. That's true. They, they came from different backgrounds, mm -hmm. just like you and me. Yep. How we were brought up by our family is going to affect how we are going to think. That's so, true. So, uh, by doing this activity, we are giving them like a platform so that they can exchange ideas, try to understand or without having like any worries, mm -hmm. uh, people condemning you. We are giving them like safe ground. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as uh, we mentioned before, is a very good idea and also teachers need to be ready uh, to be neutral as well 
Yeah. Uh, because teachers also uh, come from uh, another background That's true. Uh, yeah. that might affect uh, the way we think. Mm -hmm. But being a teacher, we need to be neutral. We need to see uh, how uh, our pupils are going to say about the situation or problems that they are going to uh, face. Okay? Okay. okay. So, before we start using the language, right? Mm -hmm. So, it is good to have a very good example or samples that we can follow. Okay. Okay. So, in this book, they gave uh, useful expression yeah, for a certain situation. Like, for example, giving advice. Yeah. So, uh, number one, if I were him, I would. Mm -hmm. So, that is a situation if you want to put yourself in his or her shoes. Yeah. If you're talking about somebody, number two, I think it would be better to okay. what and using because. Mm -hmm. Next one, perhaps he should or then he could. So this is always helpful when uh, we want to try to put ourselves in someone else situation. Okay? okay. So while giving advice. The next one also, he should also, another expression that you can use. Mm -hmm. I really think it's best to, to do what mm -hmm. because of something. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I, and I love to use this at, <laughs> uh, at school. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, because uh, seemingly when we say this word, like the pupils try to understand that we, you are trying to be honest with them, and they would understand you better. Okay. Uh, it yeah. works for me. Okay. You can try <laughs> and use it. <laughs> okay. So this is the task that our pupils online need to do and also pupils at home could try this activity with your friends. Okay. Okay. What is the question? Your friend Mark has been invited to a party the night before an exam. Uh -huh. Seemingly very suspicious, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is the problem? What are the options? Mm -hmm. What are the advantages and disadvantages of each option? So these three main questions are being asked for, from the examiner, for yeah. example, right? Uh, just like me, I'm going to ask my students, they need to do this. Okay, because this is going to be a PBD, so we are going to give them some time to actually try to figure out the answers. Okay. Okay, yeah. so to help them with this, um, we are going to uh, pair them up, mm -hmm. yeah? Because, uh, let's see, okay, this is the discussion that they need to do. Okay. Yeah? Uh, talk together about what he should do, then say which would be the best. Okay. Okay, so this is the discussion that uh, they are going to do for uh, some time. So, I think what I can do is, mm -hmm. Anis and Asha, can, can you uh, both work together? And also Haikal and Biha will also work together. Or uh, maybe you can... Uh, do what they can do is try to uh, give some time or maybe one person can do what is the problem about mm -hmm. or the second person can do the other question and then maybe both can talk about what are the advantages or the disadvantages of each option okay okay so we are going to give them some time a little bit okay, okay. how much time should we give them maybe like a minute or two a minute uh, or two okay that's, okay that's well that's, that's more than enough uh, that yes that's more than enough mm -hmm. so so i i like to talk again to this okay okay uh, the speaking strategies so while uh, our pupils mm -hmm. yeah, try to figure out so think about the advantages of disadvantages of what was the problem again uh, okay let's see what's the problem again uh, so Sean and I can also have like a discussion yeah yes Mark mm -hmm. has been invited to a party the night yeah. before an exam mm -hmm. so Mark has an important thing to do the next day yes. but he was invited to a party which uh, his friend is going to feel or oh, something happened to Mark if Mark didn't attend or yeah. would you think like Mark's friend would understand his uh, decision of not going what do you think um, I think it also depends on the relationship that uh, for example if Mr. Hanin, you yes. are the one in that situation yep. 
um, what kind of relationship you have with Mark? Mark is okay. Mark a very close friend? Mm -hmm. Or is Mark uh, just someone that you know, an acquaintance, or just you know, someone that you just say hi or bye when you're walking past each other? Yes. So if let's say, I think if the relationship is a, it's a very strong so relationship, uh -huh. and he invites you all the time, maybe over to his house to, to have a meal or just to hang out, then I, I would assume that uh, if the relationship is close, if Mr. Hanin is not going to the party, that would uh, make uh, Mark think that something is up or did he do something wrong? Is there a reason why, why? Mr. Hanin is not going to the party? That would be my assumption. Yes, okay. For me also, there are so many factors that we need to consider, right? That's because true. Uh, yes, you need to think about the relationship that you have mm -hmm. with the person who are inviting, who invites uh, to the party. Yes. So you need to consider that. But the thing is, be, because uh, the main thing here, I have an exam that I need to go to tomorrow. And That's right. if, if I, uh, I don't want to be selfish as well, mm -hmm. because yes, I need to consider the relationship that I have with Mark. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's, it's two very uh, different situations Christian. because one is an exam which means that could translate into your future. Yes. One more is more like your social relationship. Your social relationship. Or it could yes. be just uh, a, a time for you to have fun if you yes. put it in a, in a different way. So it's it's very complicated. It it's hard to decide. Uh, but this is why our pupils have to face in their daily life. They need to make this decision. Even us as an adult, mm -hmm. we also face a lot of trouble to think whether we want to go or not to the party. That's For example, true. if mm -hmm. our situation is different, it's maybe we are not going to an exam, yeah. but we have other things that we need to do the next day. That's uh -huh. true. Let's find out from our students and also our pupils Let's see whether they already have their answers. Okay, can we have the first uh, partner? Thank you, I, Aisha and Anis. Okay, sure. So let's try to listen to their conversation between Aisha and Anis. Let me start first. I think the problem is Mark have to choose between going to the birthday party or study for his exam tomorrow. So the options are between going to the birthday party or study for his exam tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I think it would be better to study for his exam because it's very important for his future. To be honest, I would choose to study too because he will be tired to study late at night and he would not be able to focus answering the exam. Mm -hmm. So I think he shouldn't, he shouldn't take the risk. Okay. You agree with me? Yes, I think he shouldn't go to the party. That's all. Okay. So from their conversa conversation, mm -hmm. they agree uh, that Mark shouldn't go to the party. Yeah. As what I said before or mm -hmm. earlier, that there's no right or wrong answer. That's right. We are just going to let them explore mm -hmm. the possibility. For both of them, they agree that Mark shouldn't go to the party yes. okay so why don't we mm -hmm. listen to the next pair oh yes i'll go first i think the problem is mark has to decide whether to go to the birthday party or study for the exam tomorrow i really think it's best for him to study because the exam is more important for his school to be honest, I really like the idea of going to the party because the party will be much more fun because all of his friends will be there. If he didn't go to the party, he would have more time to study and will excel in his exam. Mm -hmm. Perhaps he should go to the party but leave a little bit early so he could spend a little bit of time to study up for his examination. Oh. Would you agree? Sure, it seems reasonable. Since Mark doesn't want to disappoint his friends, oh. he could go to the party and after that he can burn the midnight oil to study. That's all from both of us. Wow. So mm. this part, they came to a, like, a, uh, to a consensus where mm. Mark 
can go to the party mm -hmm. but leave the party a bit early mm -hmm. and study burn the midnight all yeah. so that he can still perform the next day wow, wow. a very good answer as well yeah so both answer from these two pairs are valid yeah yeah mm -hmm. so because they look at the problems what yep. are the options they look at the advantages and disadvantages of each option mm -hmm. they have done well so why don't we give a word to all of them? All of them! So here we go, one for Aisha, one for Haikal, one for Nabiha, as well as Anis. Well done, everyone! <laughs> Good job! Alright, and looks like uh, we're going to take a short break right now. We're going to, back, uh, going to be back to you for Lower Form on Didet TV KPM. KPM. And we are back at Lower Form on Didate TV KPM. Our lesson for today is English Form 3 and we are talking about special relationships. Now over to you, Mr. Hanin. Thank you, Sean. So now we are going to speaking activity mm -hmm. which, are, which is on ideas focus. Okay. Okay. So this is also another speaking activity just to broaden up their horizon. Mm -hmm. Yes. And to think about some problem that they can respond to. Okay. okay. So there are three questions over here. Mm -hmm. These are part of the activities that they can find inside the textbook. So which means pupils at home, you can try to refer to your textbook as well when, if you want to do this activity. Okay. This question is more complex because uh, just now they try to figure out uh, with their friends. Yep. Okay, now we are going to look at this question personally and mm -hmm. we are going to ask uh, our pupils uh, in the online mm -hmm. uh, about their opinion because they already learned about the useful expression that they can use when they want to share their opinions. Okay, okay. Yeah. let's see these three questions. Okay, the first question would be, if you had a problem with one of your friends, would you speak to him or her about it? Why or why not? Okay, mm -hmm. that is the first situation. Okay. Okay, the second situation would be, what's more important to you, your education or your friends? Why? Okay, similarly, this is quite, quite hard as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and number three, do you ask for advice when you have problem? Yeah. Why or why not? Okay. Because some people might deal with problems differently. So we want to know how uh, our pupils in the online deal with this uh, problem. So we are going to ask uh, a few other of them to respond. So why don't we start with uh, maybe Aisha. If you Aisha. had a problem with one of your friends, okay. would we'll you to him or her about it. Why? Why not? Mm -hmm. If I had a problem with one of my friends, I would speak to her because I don't want the problem become worse and I love her very much. Okay. Ah, okay. So she will try to speak to her friend because mm -hmm. she doesn't want to worsen the situation mm -hmm. because and also because she loves her friend. Her friend. Thank ah. you very much, Aisa. So Aisha can get one reward, one reward for, for Aisha and answering these questions. Okay, how about we try Nabiha for the second question? What's more important to you, your education or your friends? Why? I think my education is more important because my future depends on it. And maybe if I can inspire my friends to follow the same road as me, mm -hmm. we can all be successful. Okay, thank you Nabiha for that very good answer as well. Good job, well done. Okay, Sean and she should receive one reward. One reward for Nabiha. Okay, Nabiha. Okay, maybe next uh, Anis can share for number three, please. 
Do you ask for advice when you do you ask for advice when you have problem? Why or why not? Uh -huh. For me, I will try to solve my problem by myself first. Then, uh -huh. if I can't solve the problem, I will ask for advice from my parents. Uh -huh. This is because we want to be a more independent person. Uh -huh. Okay, that is also good. Good job, Anis. So, you should get one as well. Okay, one when we you. listen to Anis' answer, uh -huh. so she trying to figure out the answers to the problem herself first yep. but once she couldn't manage mm -hmm. so there's always an uh, older person mm -hmm. that she can refer to or can ask for advice yeah okay that is also very good now we are going to listen maybe Haikal Haikal you can choose any question yeah and try to give your response um, I could What's more important to you, your education or your friends? Okay. Why? Okay. Um, the more important for me is my friends because, uh, you know, friends, my life is very bored. My life very boring and it will, and my education will drop without friends. Okay. All right. Thank you, uh, Haikal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so for Haikal, maybe at this stage, he think that his friend is uh, more important than his education. Maybe he can actually juggle the time. Yeah. Okay. Half uh, of the time with his friend and then half of the time with his education. Yeah. Okay. So well done, and then Haikal can get one reward. One Good reward job. For you. Well done. Well okay. done. Okay. So now, mm -hmm. how to actually improve your speaking? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we need to understand the instruction, mm -hmm. highlight on the task, be clear on what to do, and when you are uh, answer, you you need you need to use appropriate vocabulary, use the correct tone, think clearly, and try to organize your thought. Just what they have shown. Yes, that's right. And before we end our lesson today, could you kindly give us a short summary of what we have already learned today? Yes. So this is the site. What have you learned today? So we learn how to actually improve our speaking mm -hmm. ability with the technique that we have already learned today. Uh, it is hoped that they can improve their speaking ability. Yes. And how about the uh, performance, the overall performance of our pupils who are online today? How well did they do? They did well, as you see, they got all the rewards. So mm -hmm. well done, good job. You have done well for your PBD. All right, well done everyone. And for those of you who are watching online or even at home, uh, if they want to get enhancement exercises or additional exercises, from where can they get it from? Yes, of course, they can always check the Sumber Cool platform. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Hanin, for our lesson for today. And for those of you watching, hopefully it's beneficial to all of you. And we'll see you in our next lesson. Till then, take care and bye. But wait up. Oh, oh I have a special surprise to yeah? you. Uh, Sean, because we have known each other for quite some time, right? Okay. So I just want to say thank you, buddy. Wow! What's this? Thank you so much. A small appreciation wow. for all the times we know each other. Wow! Thank you so much, Mr. Hardy. I didn't get anything for you, but wow, this is great. Okay. Wow. A lot to me. I am really glad to know you, Mr. Hanin. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much, Mr. Hanin. I really appreciate our friendship as well. Thank you. And uh, yes, I'm, I'm, hopefully I'll remember to get you something also in the near future. <laughs> wow.